guys, today, you might have guessed it, we're going to be drawing a fish. And I'm going to show you guys how to draw your fish and then one colorful way that you can color it in when you're all done. So come along, join me, and let's have some fun together. All right, so to start out with for our fish, we are going to start somewhere in the middle of our paper and we are going to draw a big circle. So I'm going to start out with a circle right here. It's easier to draw a circle if you keep your wrist straight and just move your entire arm. Then we're going to have a curved line coming out from the middle of the circle off to the left. And then we're going to connect it from here down to here at the bottom of our circle, just like that. Then we're going to start with our eyes. Our eyes are going to start up here. We have one big eye here. And then one eye in the background coming off to the left. It connects to the top of our first eye and ends at the circle. Then we can take our eraser and erase out our marks on the inside of that circle there. And then we're going to put in our pupils. One pupil here. And then one pupil here. Just like that. Then we're going to come back and we're going to have a curved line coming out to the right off of the circle and then up here curving the other direction. It just kind of flows as if you're continuing that circle up and off of the body like that. Then we're going to have a line up here coming out and then another line down here coming out even further. The line on the bottom is going to be a little longer than the line on the top, and I'm going to show you why in a minute. So we're going to have a straight line here, a little V, just like that, and then we're going to connect this line down with this one. And there's our big tail fin for our fish. Then we're going to come up here and we want to give him a nice fin on the top of his back. So it's going to go over and then curve down and meet on the top of our circle. And then down here we're going to have one that comes out and then curves around and meets on the bottom of our circle, just like that. So we have our two fins. Now what we want to do is add in our teeth. So he's kind of a funny looking fish and he kind of has funny looking teeth and um, a funny bite. So he's going to come up here, our first big tooth, and come down and connect, just like that. Then we're going to have another tooth come here, up, and connect back down, just like that. Nice sharp points here little tooth that comes up just like that. Just a little tooth. Then we're going to have another bigger tooth here. Not too high though. We don't want it to come in and poke himself in the eye. And then one more tooth here, just like that. If we need to extend our mouth a little bit, we can do that. And there we have it. Our funny, fun fish. Now our fish is looking up at something. He needs that worm. He's looking for that worm. So what I'm doing real quick here is erasing out all of my pencil lines on the inside of the body where I don't need them anymore. There we go. And then I want to draw a worm on a hook. So up here, where he's looking upwards, I want to draw a worm on a hook. So the first thing I'm going to do is have my hook. So I'm going to have my hook come up like a big J, and 
and then have a nice short, sharp point. It's hard to say, sharp point. Come down and around like that. Let me zoom in so you can see what I'm doing on my worm on the hook. Then I'm gonna have my circle there. And then I'm gonna have my fishing wire. And then I'm going to have my worm here. So I'm gonna start out with a curve for his back, comes up and over and loops down. So it started here on the top of the hook, came up and over and looped down, almost like a backward C. Then I'm gonna curve it for the front of his face. It's gonna come back up and around and end right there. Like that. And then we want to continue his body, so we're gonna have this little line here, this little line here. And then we want to imagine it coming out behind the front of his body, just like that. So there's the back end of our worm. And he's got two big eyeballs. He's saying, no, Mr. Fishy, I don't want to get eaten today. Just like that. And then you can go back through and put some lines. But the first thing we need to do is erase out this spot right here, because that hook is where he's kind of wrapped himself around it. It's not going through him. He's just kind of resting on top of that hook and looped his body around it. So he's just kind of sitting on it. And we got some little lines going through just to give his body a little more decoration. Okay. And I'm gonna zoom out. And there you have it. Your creepy fish with your big teeth this big overbite looking up at your little worm on the hook and let me show you what this can look like if you decided um, that you wanted to color it in I'll show you my finished product here so this is what mine looks like all finished and colored in Ta -da! thank you so much for watching have a great day and don't forget, if you like my videos, subscribe and you'll be the first to know when I have new tutorials coming out. Take care and God bless.